Hey, let's uh, let's check in with our speaker, author, and our point man for positivity. We're talking mm -hmm. about consultant Rich Bracken. He's here to share some insights and suggestions on how to live a more authentic mm -hmm. and happier life. And Rich, we're going to start out with some statistics that you have pulled up for us here, and it's about how people feel about themselves. I'm wondering, are those numbers high or are they low? So the the shocking statistic is the fact that. 50% of our country on a scale from one to 10 rates themselves as a five or lower when what? it comes to self-acceptance, which to me is unacceptable. Why is This that? is a society that we are so caught up in what we should be doing and looking like and buying and listening to and all of these different things, but we should be living by the statement, be who you are, accept and love who you are, good, bad, and flawed. You know, we try so hard to fix these flaws thinking that they're problematic because of all these images that we're bombarded with. When we should just be saying, hey, look, this is who I am. I love who I am, and I'm going to accept who I am holistically. There are 7.9 billion people in the world. There's one you. Accept that person for who you are. That's how God yeah. made you. Why yeah. is, it, is it, as you said, more people on the Internet, like getting all this misperception of what they should look like, what they should act like? 100, yeah, absolutely. I mean, think about all the images in the media, social media, just even in conversations that you're having. Your neighbors, you're, we're always trying to catch up with the Joneses, right? We're always trying to keep up with them. But it really is all about creating more self-acceptance in our life to be more authentic. If you think about spending your entire day chasing the impressions of other people, chasing the likes and the desires of other people, what other people think is perfect and what other people think is acceptable, you're going to be miserable. Most of us, I've been through that same scenario where I've, con I've consistently tried to chase things that aren't me. But the more I bought into who I was, the more I accepted the fact that I like certain music, I like certain food, I like certain clothes, I like certain things, I became happy as an individual so instead of chasing all of those things create your own self perfection image we're going through the four steps now be kind to yourself ask for a peer evaluation take time to be you and make a list how important yes. are all these four steps Oh, they're critical. They're absolutely critical. Studies say that by doing these things, you will become happier and more authentic as an individual. And within those studies, they're also finding that people are not only happier, they have higher self-esteem, they experience greater life satisfaction, they have lower stress, and big perk here, they have better romantic relationships. So all of those things, cue some Marvin Gaye music because the more self-acceptant and more holistic you are as a person, the better your romance is gonna be. Hey, Rich, I'm curious. One of those items on the list is ask someone to give you a peer review. I'm wondering what type of person would be best to ask about that. Mm, good question. You know, I, I honestly want to ask Mark Alford to give me mine because I know Mark is very authentic <laughs> and very honest with his opinion. So I would love that. But really, you want to go to those trusted people like Mark is to me. It's a family member or a spouse or a really good close friend, somebody that you trust to give you true feedback because most people will just say, oh, no, you're great. You're perfect. Everything is fantastic. Don't change a thing about about you but the people that truly love you and respect you are going to understand that your happiness is at stake so when they give you that feedback when they give you any kind of insight into what they think you could be a little bit better or maybe it's just don't be so hard on yourself take that advice and run with it because they're investing in you as much as you should invest in yourself That's so that peer evaluation is critical yeah yeah but right. you know it's somewhat of a pattern you'll get really into yourself for a while mm -hmm. and say I've got this I'm, I'm here I'm accepting myself and then you fall back into the old you and you don't know where to go. How can you pick yourself back up? So it's, it's, retrain, it's a great question. It's retraining that reaction to that stimulus. So I can think of several times in my life where a consistent stimulant will knock me off of my, my path to self-acceptance and confidence. Now, when that came back up again, I started analyzing the fact that that was what derailed me. So when it came about again, I thought, I thought to myself, I'm not going to let it derail me. I'm going to approach this in a different way. And I took control of the situation. By taking that control back in those scenarios, you prevent yourself from being derailed or it derailed as much as you possibly were in the past. So it's really all about the consistency in behavior and making sure that you're taking care of you first because you are the most important person to you. All right. Another good chat, Rich. Good to see you as always, my Always friend. great to see you all. Yep. Hey, uh, you can connect with Rich on social media or check out his podcast. Just visit richbracken.com. Matt?